What's going on, guys? Who you see on the screen is none other than Joe Biden. Now, recently, he's been under fire because a woman by the name of Tara Reid came out and said he sexually assaulted him. Uh, God damn it. He sexually assaulted her in 1993. Now, you know, the whole Me Too movement, people were asking, you know, where's Me Too? Hey, what's going on? This is sexual assault. This woman saying she was assaulted, uh, you know, uh, 27 years ago, I believe, 1993, right? I mean, you know, Bill Cosby sitting in prison for something that alleged, that happened 30 years ago, right? Barely, in, I said barely, barely any evidence. You know, R. Kelly, you know, he done, you know, we know about him, but, you know, he's sitting in prison. All right. They try to go after Michael Jackson's legacy. That failed. I don't know what were they thinking. I mean, this man has still has a number one album. And he still s sells more records than some of the alive art. Uh, alive, some of the artists that's alive today. Now, Harvey Weinstein, you no, know, he's Jewish, so I don't know. Most people, I, I, I say they're white, but people say, oh no, they're not white, they're Jewish. Okay, so so far, there's been two black men taken down and then one Jewish man taken down, and you know, so now it's time to go after Joe Biden. All of a sudden, you have Tarana Burke. She's she's woman splaining now. He's saying, oh, he could be held accountable and electable. So basically, we could hold him accountable, but he could continue to prosper. But we can't listen to, uh, you know, R. Kelly's music, which, you know, I still do. I don't agree with anything, but I still listen to the music. We can't watch Harvey Weinstein movies, which I'm sure people do. And without even knowing that his production company was behind it, or maybe some people do. They just love the movie as long as he's not in there. And, you know... You know, people still listen to Michael Jackson music. I still do. I mean, come on now. You know, the person's artwork is just completely different from what they've done in personal life. But that's just me. So now this guy, he's running for office. Instead of stopping his career, you know, making a documentary and putting him behind bars. Now all of a sudden, is you know, we're not going to hold him. We're not going to stop him um, from prospering. So, you know, let him go shows the complete hypocrisy of this movie and a lot of people saying it's dead now because they won't go after Joe Biden and I believe it should be dead and stay dead because if we're not going to believe all women like me like the um movements uh, model says then let's not believe all women then you know free those two black men that's out of prison free Harvey Weinstein right bunch of hypocrites man but you guys let me know what you think in the comment like share subscribe I'll talk to you in the next video